Hey, this is G from Outlier Automation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine in VirtualBox and then install Beckoff TwinCat XAE on it. At Outlier, we use virtual machines a lot to install different automation vendors software programs on them. They tend to be really large installations or they might not work right if they're installed side by side on our main programming computers. I found that it gives us a lot of flexibility to have the software pre-installed. And then when we're moving between projects like Siemens to Rockwell, or Rockwell to Beckoff, then we just move the images on and off our computers and we can start working on it right away. Another option would be to use VMware Workstation, but I'm gonna show VirtualBox here because it's free to use. We're going to download several things in this video and all the links are going to be in the description down below. If you like this video and find it useful, do me a favor and like, subscribe, and tell someone about this video. All right, let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna do is download VirtualBox and install it. I'm running Windows 11, so I'm going to download the latest version for the Windows hosts. It's downloaded now, and I'm going to open the executable file. We'll use the default settings for the install. Select the standard features. Here this is saying that the network connection will be restarted on your host computer, so don't do that if it's going to be a problem for you. Everything has been configured, and we're ready to install it. Click Finish and open up VirtualBox. Here's the VBox user interface. It'll start with no virtual machines visible under the Tools section. What we're going to do now is create a new virtual machine with a Windows 11 operating system. We'll need the ISO image to install the operating system, so let's download that next. This is the Windows 11 Enterprise version. You can use it for a 90-day evaluation, or you can use your own ISO image and Windows licenses. You have to register before you can download the ISO image file. Select Download Now, and then select the exact version. We'll select 64-bit edition United States for Windows 11. All right, the download is finished, and let's go back to VirtualBox now to create the VM. I'll click on New and name the instance TwinCat3. The installation folder location is OK. The ISO image is the one that we just downloaded. Once you select it, you can see that VirtualBox detects the Windows version. Set up a username and password here. I'd recommend adding the guest editions here. It'll allow the VM to better integrate with the peripherals on your host computer, like your monitors, mouse, and keyboard. For example, the VM can't detect your screen resolution without it, and you'd end up with a tiny screen when you run the VM. Here we have to allocate the memory and processing power. A VM shares the resources available from your host operating system. You want to select something that's enough to run the operating system and software in the VM, but if you have too little resources, the VM will be really slow, and if it's too much, your host computer will be really slow. So it's a balance. Here we'll go with the default settings. We have to assign hard drive space for the VM. It will use up to 80 gigabytes of whichever drive the VM image is located. If you want to reserve the full 80 gigs up front, then you can select the pre-allocate full size option. Go ahead and finish. The instance is powering up automatically and it's going to install the Windows operating system on the virtual machine. It's the same process as installing an OS on a physical host computer. The Windows installation finished now. Let's download TwinCat XAE into the VM. To be able to copy the link from our host computer into the VM, you have to enable the bi-directional clipboard on the VM settings. Let's copy and paste the link into the browser now. Let me maximize the VM now, which is working because of the guest editions that we installed. For the TwinCat download, we have to register here too. Download TwinCat Extended Automation Engineering, XAE. The file downloaded, and now I'm going to open it. Select Next. Accept the license agreement. Agree to install third-party software. Select Complete Installation, and Install. The installation finished, confirm, 
And next, we have to restart our virtual machine for the changes to apply. Let's start TwinCat 3. Search for TwinCat and select TwinCat XAE Shell. All right, it opened up. Let's create a new TwinCat project. The project was created. And you can see on the left-hand side in the project tree that there's various tabs. One is PLC. Okay, so we created a project, and that'll be it for right now. One thing that's a nice feature about working with VMs is that you can save the current state of the operating system and start where you left off. I'll close the Windows instance and select Save the Machine State. Awesome, so that's how you create a virtual machine in VirtualBox and install software on it. See you next time for some more videos.